Hi everybody. This video is for Elaine Graves and she asked if there's anything that can be done to extend the length of a dress shirt. And I say, of course there is. But um, I guess it just depends on what you're looking for. So my idea was you could either take the sleeve off and replace the whole sleeve, which would be nearly impossible because even though white, you have a white shirt, not all whites are white, the right white or the same white. <laughs> there are, I worked at a fabric store and there are so many shades of white. You just, there's no way you could really match it up unless you just happen to have extra off that bolt. So, um, it's almost impossible to do that. So I'm not doing that. Um, but if you do want white fabric to go on your sleeve, I would choose, and not for the whole sleeve, but if you want to add to it, I would choose a white on white print. And if you don't like that idea, you can use a color. I was going to use black, but I don't have black woven fabric in my stash. So I am going to use colored fabric. And I have a drawer full of clothes that I keep that doesn't fit anybody that I will just pull fabric from. So I'm going to use this red stripe and then this allows me seam allowance on each side. So I'll have the white and the red and then the white on each side and I'll cut it here and that will be my seam allowance. So that's what we're working with. And I have a feeling it's gonna be really cute. Okay, um, I just wanted to tell you the next video I'm gonna put out is um, what to consider when pricing your alterations. And in that video, I'm going, I put in the visuals, for the visuals, a shirt that I made. And this was one of the, my best sewing experiences because um, I've never really made a lot of men's clothing, but because it was such an enjoyable job, I'm considering going into designing men's clothing so we'll see how that turns out but it was fun i get stressed out with women's wear and i think that women's wear is just the market is really saturated so i think for um, men not so much and it's little details like this that can make the difference in a standard um, silhouette for men so we'll see how that turns out the first thing you're going to do is remove your cuffs. And as you can see what I just did, <laughs> almost forgot to pin the, the pleat. Now I am not going to take the pleat out and then put the fabric in. I think I'm just going to put it right over it. You could take it out if you wanted to, but then I'm thinking, why don't you take off the placket too? And I just don't know that people want to go into that much detail. Um, if you guys decide you do want to go into that much detail, let me know. I will do it again. But I'm just going to go with the easiest way possible. And I really don't think people are going to notice it. So this seam allowance was a half inch. Normally these are like a quarter inch or, or three eighths inch. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of undecided on what seam allowance I want to use because depending on how much you want to lengthen the shirt, if you want to lengthen a half inch, then I would do a half inch for the length, a half inch for this hem, or seam allowance but this is three eighths and over here is a half inch so I'm going to do something here okay it's all the same width except well you know a little bit right here and I am going to just even that out a little bit because it's not on the back it's just right here that way the shirt is the same all the way around and I am going to make the decision to just do a 3 8 inch hem 
that will add a little bit of length here on this side too. So we have the sleeve uh, or the cuff off. I'm going to see how many inches I need to make this fabric. Ten and three eighths inch. Now I also have to bring it around this way. So ten, eleven, and then a little to tuck under. So I am just going to cut a big old piece and then I'll just sew it on and then we'll trim off what we don't need. But I already did the measurements on this. Let me see how much I can get off of here. Okay, that's going to be more than enough. So I'm going to cut from here all the way up to under this belt loop and then um, I'll sew it on and then trim off what I don't need. But I'll show you as I go. And again, like I said, you guys, this, this is more of a design. You're going to have to think more about designing than just altering. So, I mean, you can have fun with it. Probably more conservative dressers may not like this, but you know, if you have to have the shirt lengthened, maybe the white on white would do better where it's not quite so noticeable, but sometimes these little pops of color are nice. Okay, so I am going to go to the, the ironing board and press this out and I'm going to sew it under just a little bit right here because it's got to be folded under when you um, sew it around the back of the placket and I'll show you that when I get back. Okay, there is something I didn't really work out in my head yet but we will see how that goes when I sew it on. Okay, so I'm thinking this will have to go, like I said, I've never done this before. <laughs> We're kind of going shoot from the hip with just some thought about it. Okay, we'll align that. Actually, I'm gonna pin it this way so I can fold it up and show you what it's gonna look like. Come around like this and then I'm going to redo the pin at roughly three-eighths of an inch very roughly and then again Now what I didn't think about in here is the edge finishing because you're going to have raw edges. So you could zigzag it if you want. Okay, and right here, you would trim this off. Let me give a little bit of room for it. And just like this one's folded out or back, you're going to fold this one back as well. And make sure it aligns with your smaller placket. Okay, let's go all the way in. So when you flip it up, I'll pull this back a little bit so I don't poke myself. Okay. 
it's going to have that red line right there. So let me get my sewing machine up here and sew this on and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, I switched my pins to this side because I wanna make sure I sew right on the right edge of that white line. When you come up to the pleat, just make sure that it's not folded back. It's laying the way it's supposed to. All right, I'm going to the iron board and I'm going to press this down and I'll be right back. Okay, this is what it looks like after I put it on, but I am still concerned with the inside because you have that raw edge. So what I think I'm going to do, because um, it's such a small seam allowance that I don't feel like I can fold it under and get a good stitching in there. So if you have a serger, that would be ideal. Just serge that. You don't have to cut any off, just let your blade run along the edge. It'll clean up those threads and then overlock that whole thing. But I'm not going to put my machine up here. I'm just going to use a zigzag from my sewing machine. Okay, because I'm not using my serger, I'm just going to Clean up these threads a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to the ironing board. I'm going to press this again, come back and put the cuff on. Okay, um, because I sewed on the outside of the white line, I have got to align the cuff to the outside of this white line so that it's even on the other side, all the way around. Okay, so that's what we're going for. And I'm going to put this in here and...
you guys. That's it. Looks like I got a little off here. You can see that that light area kind of gets small here. But overall, um, I'm going to say we did pretty good. Just clean up these threads from before. If you guys try it, let me know what you think. If you guys feel like um, there's a better way to do this, let me know. I have looked online and I haven't found anything where people talk about um, lengthening a sleeve. So imagine this, if it was a white on white fabric, it would add a little more of an elegant look to it, I think. And this is just more fun. Okay, you guys, in an effort to be completely transparent, um, I just wanted to share this with you. Although I like the way this looks, for myself, I don't know if this would look good on a men's shirt. That I'm not a man, whatever. If a, a man can make that decision. but And I think it looks cute, but if you turn it around, this is really bothering me. Now, maybe some people it won't, but I did not think through the process completely to figure out how to l fix this what appears to be an unfinished um, area um, if you guys have any suggestions uh, leave it in the comment box um, would you leave it like this obviously clearing cleaning up the threads would you leave it like this or would you apply something to cover it or maybe I don't know I haven't really thought through the whole thing but let me know what you would do if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next video thanks bye